Hi, this is Clint DeBoer from Pro Tool Reviews, and I'm gonna go over my favorite picks for the best nail guns in the industry. So to start it off, let's talk about the best nail gun for framing, and this is under the pneumatic category. It's the Metabo HBT NR90 AES-1 framing nailer. And basically, if it's not broke, don't fix it. About The only thing they've done with this nailer is rebrand it from Hitachi to Metabo HBT. It's without a doubt the best nail gun for framing. It's the lightest one we've tested. We've used it on LVL, 2x8s, 2x10s, you name it, pressure treated. It just, it'll power through anything. It's just not an issue with this gun. Uh, it has three and a half inch nail capacity. It, matter of fact, it takes three and a half by 0.148 inch nails. The only weird thing that it lacks is it doesn't have a dry fire lockout, which is bizarre. And it also doesn't come with a rafter hook. So that's kind of silly in today's day and age, but all of the other benefits of this nailer still make it my top pick for a framing nailer if you're gonna go ahead and use a compressor on the job site. So just keep that in mind. The price is around $169. You're just gonna have a hard time beating this gun. Now, if you're gonna go with a battery powered solution, I really like the Milwaukee M18 fuel nailer. That cordless framing nailer brings power. It comes in both 21 degree and 30 degree. So you're gonna be able to use any off the shelf nails you want with this gun. I do think that what really sets it apart though is its power, its consistency, and the sheer ease of use that you have. You have a lot of visibility at the nose of this and it consistently sinks nails on every single shot, even in rapid fire bump mode, which we use a lot when we're framing. It's got a really easy to use depth adjustment and I like the electronic switch that's gonna flip you between the firing modes. As a tool only, it's gonna cost $329. If you wanna get the kit, it's $479. So another 150 and that gets you a couple batteries and a charger. Now, if you want portability, but you don't wanna deal with the extra weight of batteries and you don't wanna drag a hose or a compressor around, well, now you got a good pickup tool with the Passload CFN 325 XP. That's a gas framing nailer. So you're gonna have a little battery on this one, but it only activates the mechanism. Everything else is uh, done through fuel. What I really like about this nailer is it's going to fire as quickly as pneumatic. It's gonna give you basically three shots per second. It'll deliver 1,200 shots from a single fuel cell. You're gonna be able to get 9,000 shots before you have to charge the battery. And it supports up to three and a quarter inch nails all the way down to two inch. And these are gonna be the 0.131 inch nails as well. It only weighs 7.2 pounds, so it's gonna be a lot lighter than some of the battery powered solutions out there. If you want extra portability and you don't wanna sacrifice power, this is a great way to go. Let's move on to finish nailers. I really do like pneumatic finish nailers the best because they're the lightest weight for the power that they deliver. You're gonna drag a hose, but you're also gonna basically make for a much more ergonomic tool. And for that pneumatic pick, the Metabo HPT NT50 AE2M. That's an 18 gauge finish nailer. If you're only gonna have one, this is the one to get. Very, very lightweight and a super solid performer. It has features like dry fire lockout and it's got a swiveling air intake that actually comes with the tool. So that's pretty neat. A lot of air tools honestly don't come with a intake at all, let alone a swiveling one. It weighs just 2.2 pounds. And we've used this a lot under the Hitachi brand. It's the same tool and this one certainly doesn't disappoint. They rebranded it to Metabo HPT. The other thing that doesn't disappoint, it's a $49 tool. It puts it right in the range of anybody looking for pro level performance on a budget. Carpenters are gonna love it. Woodworkers are gonna love it. Anybody working with trim or cabinetry should wanna pick up this tool. If you wanna leave the hose and the compressor behind, Milwaukee makes an excellent 18 gauge finish nailer on its M18 fuel line. It's actually a second gen tool. And what's really great about this one is they cleaned up all of the issues associated with putting the nose right where you want it so you can absolutely see exactly where that nail is gonna fire. And you're gonna know exactly where that placement is. So you're gonna get more accuracy than you were with their first gen tool. They've also increased the rate of fire from the first gen design. It's not a small update, it's a big update. And we really do feel like this second generation tool is something that everybody can really benefit from. The tool also has a quick bump fire mode. I don't use it a lot with an 18 gauge nailer, but it's nice to have. And I think that the quick firing speed is gonna be something that keeps up with just about anybody's needs. You're gonna pay about $299 for the bear tool, add $100 more, and you're gonna get the kit with battery and charger. It doesn't come cheap, but again, nothing good ever does. If you wanna do some narrow crown stapling, the Milwaukee M18 Fuel Narrow Crown Stapler is our top pick. This one came out back in 2019 and it doesn't use a flywheel design, but it rather uses like a pneumatic assist. And so it's essentially got zero firing delay when you pull that trigger. The battery's actually pulling everything back into place so it's ready to fire as soon as you are. 
Even in bump fire mode, we saw around four to five staples per second. It fires almost as quickly as you can move on to the next location. It also has a lot of power. It can sink quarter inch narrow crown staples up to one and a half inches in length, and we fired it even into oak and cherry without any problems. It has a lot of adjustability as well, so you can pull back on that depth of fire if you're gonna use it in thinner materials like underlayment. As a battery powered stapler, you're gonna pay $299 for the bare tool, but you can also pick it up at $399 as a kit with an M18 CP 2.0 battery and a charger. Getting down to the end, I wanna talk about pin nailers. We're gonna start with a pneumatic model that I really, really like, and it's the DeWalt 23 gauge. It's the DWFP2350K. And this nailer, I really only recommend it because it's getting really hard to find my favorite Porter cable that they used to make back in the day. But I really do like what DeWalt's done with this 23 gauge. They genuinely made an exceptionally well-designed pinner that we think is gonna do a good job letting you get exact placement of those nails. DeWalt even included a tool-free jam release. That's the first time I've ever seen that in a pinner. You also get a reversible belt hook and a tool-free depth adjustment. So the 2350K pin nailer retails for around $169. It also comes with a seven year limited warranty and a one year free service contract and 90 day money back guarantee. So if you like to have coverage on your tools, that's a pretty good bargain. Okay, we finally got to the last tool, which happens to also be my favorite. It's my favorite for a couple of reasons. Um, the biggest reason is how light it is. The second reason is close to that, how compact it is. This is the Milwaukee M12 pin nailer. I know we've had a lot of Milwaukee on this list, but they just make really good cordless nailer. And I like what they're doing. This one in particular operates off that 12 volt M12 platform, and it is small. Uh, I've compared this to many other ones on the market, including those from Makita and others, and you, there's just no comparison. It's a, it's a much tinier tool. Um, it's very similar in, in size, in fact, to their stapler. A couple other things I really like about this tool, you get excellent visibility and no firing delay. So you've got plenty of power for putting those small little detail trim pieces together. And at the same time, you're not gonna have to wait for the tool to cycle. It also has a two-stage trigger to prevent accidental firing. This is the 2540-21 if you get the kit with a single battery and it retails for about $229 as a bare tool or $279 for the kit. Okay, that's my list for the best nail guns in the industry right now across battery powered, pneumatic, and even one gas model that we have in there. If you've got other thoughts, please leave them in the comments below. Go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe if you want more buying guides and tool reviews and more. And as always, thanks for watching.